As a data scientist, one often gets asked the question, what is the difference between traditional machine learning approaches and representation learning? Well, both fall under the larger machine learning family, but there are indeed vast differences between the two approaches. Traditional machine learning involves writing code or logic to explicitly generate or engineer features from the raw data that can then be used as input to train machine learning algorithms. The traditional machine learning algorithms such as linear or logistic regression, decision trees, random forest and support vector machines, k-means and near bias are very efficient when it comes to weighing the engineered features to generate highly accurate models. However, they are not very adept to handle the raw data by themselves. Hence, feature engineering becomes a key element in traditional machine learning approaches. Traditional ML is also highly dependent on the knowledge of subject matter experts for specific domains. The data scientists have to work closely with SMEs who have in-depth understanding of the domain to engineer specific features that can be used to generate highly accurate models. In a traditional machine learning project, a significant amount of time is actually spent in feature engineering than is spent in actually training and hyperparameter tuning of the model. On the other hand, in representation learning, of which deep learning is the dominant family, the model can learn the representations or features of the raw data by itself as the data is passed through various layers of the artificial neural network. The first layers being the simplest, learning the simple features, and later layers learn more complex features and abstractions from the inputs of the previous layers. It also generates features that are far more comprehensive than traditional machine learning models. Hence, in traditional machine learning, the data scientist has to spend more time in feature engineering and lesser time in modeling the data. Whilst in deep learning, lesser time is spent in feature engineering phase, while more time is spent in fine-tuning the model architecture to achieve the desired accuracy. Let us now summarize the differences between the two. A traditional machine learning algorithm can work on a relatively smaller data set. However, Representation learning algorithms require a larger training data set. The feature engineering process in traditional ML projects is generally manual. The feature engineering process is automatic when it comes to representational learning. Traditional ML is tightly coupled with the knowledge of a domain expert and he has to be involved in the entire feature ex extraction process. In deep learning, the feature extraction is SME agnostic. Traditional ML designs specific features to be used as input data. Representation learning generates comprehensive features and an exhaustive amount of features. Traditional ML is highly accurate in weighing the features but not very accurate in handling the raw data. Representation learning can work well with raw data with relatively minimal preprocessing. Traditional ML is suitable for numerical and tabular data. Representation learning is suitable for use cases such as computer vision, NLP, but can work well with tabular data as well. Traditional ML tends to be accurate even if the data sets are relatively small. For the accuracy to increase in represent representation learning projects, the data set needs to be significantly large. Lesser compute power is required to build traditional ML models. Much more competent power and GPU is required for building deep learning models. Hope you were able to understand the differences between the two approaches to be able to take an informed decision on which approach to use to solve specific use cases as per your needs. If you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.